Here we have a typical trip circuit for the circuit breaker. The trip circuit supervision is connected as follows. Firstly, we have an A coil monitoring the trip contacts. This coil has a high resistance. We daisy chain the trip wiring and put the A coil right at the end of the chain so that it monitors 100% of the wiring. As we said previously, we also want to monitor the trip circuit when the circuit breaker is open. To do that, we provide a B coil. We then feed contacts from both the A and B coils into a third coil, the C coil, which is connected to its own DC supply. Let's now close the circuit breaker and see what happens. In this position, the A coil is energized and current is presently flowing from the positive supply through the A coil, through the circuit breaker auxiliary switch, the trip coil, onto the negative supply. Because the A coil has a high resistance, there's insufficient current to operate the trip coil. As we can see, the A coil is now keeping the C coil energized, indicating that the trip circuit is healthy. If the supply drops off, or we have a break in the wiring, the A coil will drop off, de-energizing the C coil and initiating a trip circuit faulty alarm. Let's now remove the fault and reset the relay. If any of the trip contacts initiate, the A coil will drop off and there will be a short time delay before the B coil energizes. For this reason, the C coil has to have a short time delay to deal with the gap between the A coil de-energizing and the B coil energizing. In the open position, current passes from the positive terminal, through the A and B coils, through the trip coil, and onto the negative terminal. Again, because the A and B coils have such a high resistance, the current is insufficient to operate the trip coil. Trip circuit supervision is a great way of monitoring the health of the trip circuit and very often provides an indication of problems that have arisen elsewhere in the substation, either when the DC supplies have failed or when someone's left a control link out on a panel in the control room. When a trip circuit supervision is received, the operators in the control room will take immediate action. Depending on the electrical utilities policy, the network may be reconfigured to take the affected circuit breaker off the network until the issue is rectified as it can no longer be relied upon to clear any faults that may occur.